Welcome students. This is going to be our practice uh, of long division, uh, taking a multi-digit number quotient and dividing it by a one-digit digit number. That would be our, our divisor. So um, in this practice, uh, make sure you have your math notebook out and a pencil. I'm going to be walking through the steps of long division. And um, as I'm working, I'm going to ask you to pause the video and do some of that work yourself. Uh, we're going to do it once uh, through step by step, um, where I will give you a chance to do each step on your own. And then we're going to do it once through where I give you a a problem to work on and solve, and you're going to work on that more independently. So um, let's go ahead and get started here. So here we have, well, let's see, which number is our quotient? That'd be the 978. So I'm going to go ahead and write that number out over here. And I have my steps from before written out on the side here. We're going to refer to those five steps that you have in your notebook. If you don't, Pause it now and go ahead and re uh, record those into your notebook. And <clears throat> 978 is our quotient. I'm going to use those math words, those division words a lot here. Uh, so, you know, kind of get used to it. 978. Okay. And here's our division symbol. This division symbol, I've looked it up a bunch of times. It doesn't seem to actually have its own name. Like... Uh, like, what do you call that symbol? It's just a weird little, uh, uh, like a little table that the, the quotient sits underneath there. Uh, and over here, our divisor, how many groups are we going to make? We're going to make three groups. So we're dividing it up into three. All right. <clears throat> so we have 978 divided by three. So what is the first step? What is step number one? Step number one is divide, or dad. <clears throat> how many groups can I make? So the question here is, how many groups of three can I make with nine? How many groups of three can I make with nine? Or three times what equals nine? Nine divided by what equals three? Um, you could draw it out if you needed to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many groups of three can you make? There's one group of three. Go ahead and try it out yourself here. And <clears throat> uh, pause the video if you need to. And uh, what answer do you get? All right. So your answer, I'd like you to go ahead and write your answer out up here. So how many groups of three can you make with nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can make one group two groups, three groups. The answer is three. Write down your answer before you forget. All right. Now, how much is this all together? Well, that would bring me to step number two, which is multiply. Three times three is... Three times three is nine. All right, and what step am I going to do next here? Step number three, which step is that? Subtract. All right, so go ahead and uh, pause the video if you need to, and go ahead and do that subtraction problem. See if you can find where's that subtraction problem going to be, and uh, go ahead and subtract. All righty. So I'm going to subtract 9 from 9. So I'm taking the numbers that I already divided up because I got an answer here. I took my 900. I was able to make three groups with that. And so I'm going to subtract that out. I'm done with those. <clears throat> what is 9 minus 9? That is 0. All right, what's the next step after subtract? Bring down. So go ahead and take this next number here and bring it on down. Go ahead and give it a try yourself first. It's okay if you don't get it uh, right 
right away. You can pause the video, you can rewind it. It's what you have an eraser for. Go and make a few mistakes right away if you need to. It's okay to make those mistakes. Uh, this is a safe place to make mistakes. Um, so if you you know don't get it right the first time, no big deal. I guarantee I probably probably didn't get this right the first time either. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and bring down that seven. So that's what that looks like. So I'm putting that arrow below the seven. I'm gonna bring that down because it's the next number after the nine. It's the next number in my long division problem. Bring down the seven. That's what that looks like. See that? <laughs> I could even illustrate it like this if I really wanted to. I could I could grab my seven like this and bring it down. That would be a, a way to literally show bringing it down. You can't really do that with your pencil. So we draw it like this. But that is what it means. All right. So I, I, I did bring down, and that brings me to the next step. What is the next step? Repeat. Okay, repeat. That brings me back up to step number one. Repeat. Divide. How many groups can I make? So pause the video if you need to, and try out how many groups can I make with my new number? How many groups can I make? Record your answer up here. All right. I'm going to try it out myself here. Let's see if you got the right answer. So now I'm dividing 3. I'm dividing 7 by 3. How many groups of 3 can I make with 7? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. How many groups of 3 can I make? There's one group of 3, two groups of 3, and one left over. My answer is 2. Write that down. Okay. And then how much did I have altogether here? So I started with 7, and I made two groups. How much am I going to take out of this problem? How much have I finished so I can see what's left over? That would bring, bring me to step number two. All right, step number two. So now go ahead and do that multiply step. Look at the new arrow that I drew here. That gives me a clue about what I'm multiplying. And <clears throat> uh, rather, uh, take a look at how many groups did I make? One, two groups, and how much is in each group? That's my clue about multiplying. Go ahead and uh, give that a shot and write your answer down here. All right. Well, that was 3 times 2. 3 times 2 is how much? 6. OK. Well, I've got <clears throat> uh, my multiply step done, which brings me to step 3, subtract. Go ahead and subtract. Uh, in your problem in your math notebook. All right. So that would be 7 minus 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. And that brings me to step number 4. Bring down. Remember, that kind of looks like this. Oop, that's not quite right. <clears throat> Bring down. There we go. <laughs> bring down. Of course, we write it like this. We start with an 8 up here, and we draw an arrow there. Now we have 18, and that brings us to step number 5, repeat. All right, so repeat. Step 1, divide. How many groups can I make? So I'm going to take this uh, arrow here. I suppose I can just cut that out. Now I'm going, how many groups can I make? Go ahead and give this step a try on your own. How many groups can I make with this new number here? 18. I would give you a minute to try that in your notebook. All right, now go ahead and now uh, do it here. And if, uh, if uh, let's, see how you, let's see how that went on your own. How many groups of 18 can I make with 3? So now I'm looking at this. How many groups of uh, 3 can I make with 18, rather? How many groups of 3 can I make with 18? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. How many groups of 3 can I make? Let's see here. Here's one group of 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I made 6 groups. Go ahead and write your answer down before you forget. 
There we go. That was step number one. What is step number two? Multiply. All right, I'm multiplying these numbers here. I'm seeing, is there anything left over or uh, did I divide all of them up? What is three times six? Three times six is 18. That's step number two. All right, what is step number three? Go ahead and pause your video if you need to to write that down. That would be subtract. 18 minus 18 is zero, which brings us to step number four, bring down. You probably noticed, are there any numbers left to bring down? There are not, which means it is time to, oh, actually, you know what? It's time to stop. I'm done. I have my answer. What is the quotient in this division problem? What is the quotient? Go ahead and circle the quotient. You'll remember the quotient is the answer in a long division problem. The quotient here is 326. All right. Well, uh, I hope you had some success here trying this out with me, doing some practice alongside me. In the next lesson, uh, I'm going to give you a little bit more independence to try it on your own. We'll use those same steps. I'll have those same illustrations handy. Uh, and you are going to try solving the problem uh, with a little bit less help. If you imagine riding a bike, uh, the training wheels are still on. Now we're going to try taking the training wheels off. And, uh, and I think you'll have a lot of fun trying this uh, a little bit more independently.